you know, for, for anybody to think that I was showing any type of disrespect toward Francis, I saw Francis all week, you idiots. Contractually, it's really hard to explain. The USC contract is very tricky, and they have the string, they can pull the string from anyhow. Resident UFC Dana White absen secara tak lazim pada kedua sesi penting dalam gelaran UFC 270 usai. Salah satu cerita utama dalam gelaran itu adalah Francis Ngannou yang berhasil mempertahankan gelarnya. Namun Dana White tidak hadir untuk memasangkan sabuk pada Francis Ngannou. Ditambah lagi ia tidak hadir di konferensi pers setelah UFC 270 untuk dimintai konfirmasi. Hal ini lantas disangkutkan dengan permasalahan Dana White dan Francis Ngannou dalam perihal pembaruan kontrak di UFC. Beberapa pihak lantas menyebut orang nomor satu di FC itu menghina Nganu. Ketidakhadirannya di konferensi pers usai UFC 270 itu membuat publik semakin menunggu penjelasan dari Dana White. Akhirnya, baru-baru ini Dana White muncul ke permukaan dalam acara sesi tanya jawab. White mengawali dengan memberikan pujian kepada Francis Nganu yang disebutnya jenius. Setelah itu, barulah sang bos UFC mengungkapkan alasan ketidakhadirannya saat acara pelingkaran sabuk kepada Francis Nganu. During the fight, I was very surprised. After the fight, yeah. I mean, it was genius. It was genius for him to work on his wrestling going there, I guarantee you, you know, I don't know this for a fact, but I, I would guarantee you that Cyril Gaon did almost no wrestling uh, preparing for that fight. So to come in and, and, and uh, implement the game plan that he had, it was, it was brilliant. Right after the co-main event, because there was stuff going on uh, uh, backstage that I, that I was dealing with, but you know, for, for anybody to think that I was showing any type of disrespect toward Francis, I saw Francis all week. You idiots! I, I I shook his hand. Uh, I said hi to him. You know, uh, you, you know, I was out there for the for, for the stare downs, the whole thing. So so for anybody to think that that, that that there was some type of disrespect shown toward Francis, I wasn't out there for Michael Bisping Rockhold's fight either, because I was dealing with some stuff. And uh, I sprinted from the back. I didn't even have my jacket on. I was still in my my only only had my shirt on to go out there and put the belt on Bisping, but I, I couldn't make it out there to put the belt on Francis. Um, you know, th there's only been one time that I've walked out on, on a, a, a fight and made it very clear. Showed up at a press conference and said, this is exactly why I left. It was in Abu Dhabi with Anderson Silva. So there's the answer. I don't know if anybody asked that, but somebody wanted to. There you go. Dana White menyebut pihak yang menganggapnya menghina Nganu adalah orang idiot. Sementara Nganu sendiri telah menyuarakan keinginannya untuk menghadapi Tyson Fury atau bintang tinju kelas berat lain yang menghadirkan bayaran jauh lebih besar ketimbang di UFC. I, I do think that is a good fight. We've been uh, it's been two years that we've been having this back and forth, and I think we should be doing this fight. That's something that can happen. Yeah. I know that I've definitely been, uh, been in the boxing, but I don't know when, I don't know how, and I don't know the landscape at that moment. That's the only re reason why I can't confirm for Tyson Fury, but yeah. Yes, resign with USA, then get some boxing match, in my contract, get good pay, have a good better life, live, have the, sh the championship. <laughs> Alhasil petarung berusia 35 tahun tersebut bahkan rela absen dari oktagon selama satu tahun demi menunggu klausul kontrak itu kadal luasa. So bagaimana dengan mendapat kalian semuanya? Jangan lupa komentar di bawah, like video ini, and see you next time.